Hi, this is Lane Shea, an Iowa mom, and I'm getting ready for Christmas. Um, I got my mom's old recipe box, and in there I found a real gem. It's called Spritz, and that one she made every year for Christmas. So I thought I'd share with you how to make mom's Spritz cookies. I'm going to warn you ahead of time, don't grease your pans, because you need that dough to actually adhere to the pan in order to separate from the press. A cookie press is not all that expensive and you can make spritz without a press. Just make a ball of dough and smash it onto the tray. But this might be a good Christmas gift idea. What do you think? These discs decide what your shape of your cookie is going to be. On the lip it shows what, what the shape it will make. Shapes like a heart, an umbrella, a butterfly things that we could use any time of the year. So spritz cookies are not just for Christmas. Two sticks. Softened butter. And it won't take long since it's soft. To add three fourths cup of sugar. that down just a little bit and finish that up. Now we're going to add one egg, one teaspoon of almond flavoring, and that's what makes it really good. Sprinkle the flour into the cup, which will give us an accurate measurement of flour. Okay, and then I take a straight edge. I'll do the same with my half cup. I've got my flour measured, and now I'm going to add one eighth teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of baking powder. All this is going to be stirred together. We want it to be completely combined before we put that in with the rest of the batter. I'm going to turn it on fairly slow and we're going to pour this in kind of gradually. I'm going to turn it off, scrape it down and mix again to make sure everything's included. If you want two colors of cookies, divide the dough in half. I'm starting with five drops of the green right in the mixing bowl. If you mix it and you go, if that doesn't look dark enough, you can always add more. So I'm going to add one more drop. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And on this particular one, there's a release right here. I'm going to press it and that cylinder opens up like that. I pick out the disc I want to use and place it in the end piece. I work the die through the dough, but not too long because I don't want to melt that butter with the warmth of my hand. Then I shape the dough to fit into the cookie press cylinder. Now I press the dough into the cookie press and put the end on that has the disc. Now I'm going to just press that release again, push it till it connects nice and firm to the dough. I put my hand on the cookie sheet to hold it in place while I'm pressing and then I allow room between each cookie so that when it bakes and spreads out they won't gel together. Once I have two of the pans done I put them in the oven. I set the timer for eight minutes to check. If they've got a little bit of golden brown around the edges they're done. If they're not done I just put them in another minute at a time until they are. When they're done, I put them on a cooling rack. Between batches, I wipe down the cookie sheets with a towel to make sure there isn't any more grease on it so that the cookies will still cling to the pans. If you want to, you can do sprinkles. And if you have little ones that want to help, this would be something they could do. Although be prepared for lots of sprinkles. <laughs> And that's my mom's famous spritz cookies for Christmas. This is the cookie press of Lena Shea and Iowa Mom. Merry Christmas! If you'd like to see more, go to youtube.com slash an Iowa Mom videos. Then click on the video tab for a whole list.